नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत कदापि श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो वी गन कंटिन्यू रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो सेवन चैप्टर इलेवन टुडे इज वेरी ऑस्पिशियस डे today is the disappearance day of three great personalities ragunath das go swami ragunath bhat go swami and krishna das kaviraj go swami so ragunath das go swami ragunath bhat go swami they are they were the go swamis of vrindavan the photo we see on the altar ragunath das go swami was uh, very renounced came from a very rich family actually his father and his uncle they used to collect taxes on behalf of the the ruler that time so they really very rich and they were pious people they would maintain a lot of brahmanas but ragunath das he always had the desire to be with lord chaitanya He was very rich, had a very beautiful wife, the only son. So he had a lot of opportunity for sense gratification, but he wanted to be with Lord Chaitanya. Very renounced person. Somehow the other, he managed to run away from home. His parents brought him back. They had servants guard him. Then one time he went to. pani hati over there he held a very good festival the pani hati festival the ichira festival he got the shelter of lord nityananda there till today that festival is celebrated and is gone as a temple there and is gone also celebrates this um festival over there very nicely then he, anyway one time he ran away for good from the home and you know his parents were then thinking he has everything at his home a beautiful young wife and so much wealth we can't keep him so then they understood you know that he's not going to come back then after lord chaitanya he left the world he disappeared from the world then Raghunath Das Goswami. He went to live in Vrindavan, on the banks of Radha Kund. He was looking, living there, in banks of Radha Kund. That time, Radha Kund was not like how we see it nowadays. So he had a desire to develop the Kund over there. Then, but then he understood he would need a lot of money. Then, he was like, you know, no, no, I shouldn't think that way. and somehow there was a a set they call him a set very wealthy businessman he went to badrik ashram and he was going to donate the money so then in the the dream uh, badrinarayan told him you go to you go to vrindavan go to braj and you give this money to raghunath das ko swami because and tell him to develop the radha kund sham kund over there so because the, the shet was very happy imagine seeing the lord and receiving an instruction like that so he went he met raghunath das ko swami and he told everything to radha raghunath das ko swami raghunath das ko swami was very surprised but of course he was encouraged he felt happy and then they started the work of the two kund the radha kund and sham kund then the pandavas were living there in the form of trees they are still there so then they came in the night in the dream of raghunath das ko swami and they said you know we are the pandavas we want to continue to live here so please don't cut us down because the plan was to cut down the trees to facilitate the building of the kund so then of course then the the trees are still preserved and the kund is also there and 
Raghunath Das Goswami, he was living there at the bank of Radha Kund. He didn't make any kutir for himself. He was just sleeping under the tree one tree one night, another tree another night. So what happened was one day we was there on the banks of Manasa Ganga. And, Rad and before, Vrindavan was not like how now it is. Now it's very much developed. Before it was more jungles. 500 years ago, and there were wild animals there. So Raghunath Das Goswami was sitting there doing his bhajan. So Sanatana Goswami came there to meet Gopal, Go but Gopal Bhatta Goswami. Before he met him, he said, okay, I'll bathe in the Manasa Ganga. So he went to bathe, but what did he see? He saw that Raghunath Das Goswami is doing his bhajan completely absorbed in his bhajan. And then what he saw that there was two tigers there who had come to drink water from the kund. So he was amazed. Oh my God. Now what he got more amazed was that Krishna was standing there keeping a guard protecting Raghunath Das Goswami that in case the tigers do any mischief Krishna will personally protect him. And so this is the love between Krishna and his devotees. Krishna was personally protecting Raghunath Das Goswami. And Sanatan Goswami told him, see, you know, we are supposed to serve Krishna here. You're making Krishna serve you. He's become like your chokidar, you know, like he's guarding you. What's happening? You make a kutir for yourself, no? You make a kutir and then you do your bhajan inside. Anyway, Raghunath Das, they still didn't pay much heed to it. He didn't make the kutir. So he was still every time, you know, doing his bhajan outside, outdoors. So one day, one day it was a really afternoon. The sun was blazing hot. Rindavan can get really hot. Eh? Really hot. So then another one of the Goswamis I think mostly it was Sanatan Goswami only. He was also passing that way. He saw Raghunath Das Goswami doing his bhajan in this heat. But what he saw was that Radharani personally was providing shade to Raghunath Das Goswami with her own chunni. She had covered his head like, a, like an umbrella, you know. And she was sweating and sweating. After this, they told him, hey, listen, you know, you can't do this. You have to make a kutir for yourself. You are completely absorbed in bhajan. We understand that you don't need a kutir, but here Radha Krishna is serving you. We are supposed to be serving Radha Krishna. Then he finally listened to them and made a kutir. So he was completely absorbed in the servant of the servant of Srimati Radharani. And Radharani has a competitor, Chandravali. And Raghunath Das Goswami, he would not eat food. He was completely renounced. You know, every few days he would just drink a cup of lassi, chaj. Not even the thick lassi, but like very, really watery. And cup means not like a huge, big cup that we have, like a small dona made of leaves. So one day this devotee who used to prepare this lassi for him, he, he got a bigger cup, bigger. So Raghunath Das told him, hey, you, this seems like a bigger cup. Where did you get this from? Where these leaves look different, they look nice. Where you got it from? And then he said, I got it from Sakhistali. Now Sakhistali is a place of Chandravali. So as soon as Raghunath Das Goswami heard the name Sakistali, he threw the cup. He said, how could you even bring this to me? He was so much, do you say, uh, so loyal to Srimati Radharani. He said, how could you bring this? This is from the place of Chandravali. You know, Radharani and Chandravali always have some kind of transcendental, transcendental competition. So, anyway, Chandravali is also an expansion of Srimati Radharani. Then, 
Raghunandas Goswami, he used to serve Radha Krishna in his bhajan by meditation. So one day, and every afternoon he would speak to the devotees of, of, from Chaitanya Charitamrita. And this day the devotees came to look for him. He was not there. He was inside the kutir. So they started knocking on the door. Baba, what happened? He said, oh, I don't feel very good. I'm too, too heavy. I, I'm not feeling very good at all. So they immediately told Sanatana Goswami. And Sanatana Goswami was at that time with one devotee. Uh, Vithal Nachi. So then Vithal Nachi, he arranged immediately, he sent the Vedya, the physician, to go check what happened. So, Baba, I need to check you. Okay. So he checked. He said, Oh, you are suffering too much heaviness. You've eaten too much rice and milk. So the devotee said, What are you talking? He doesn't eat anything. Every few days, he's just drinking a little bit of let's see how good he had this heaviness due to drinking rice and milk. So then Raghunadas Goswami said, no, really, actually, I did have prepared a feast for Radha and Krishna. And there was a huge feast. And then I, I also, I think I overate the rice and kheer. So he actually ate it in his meditation. But it affected his his physical body, you know. So these are a few glories of Raghunandas Goswami. Today is his uh, disappearance day. And very great personality. He's the Prayojan Acharya. And, uh, he was the spiritual master of Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami the author of Chaitanya Charitamrita. Today is also the disappearance day of Chit Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. And he had come in the very old age to Vrindavan on the order of Lord Nityananda. Lord Nityananda told him, you go to Vrindavan and you write about the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya. So Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, of course, he was feeling himself unqualified. So he he took permission from Madan Mohan when he was went to offer obeisances. The flower fell down on him, so he got it like a confirmation, because he was very humble. He said, "What will I write about the Lord?" But he got the uh, blessings of all the devotees, and they all encouraged him to write and. That's how we have the Chaitanya Charitamrita, which Shla Prabhupada has also translated for us in English. And now, of course, it's available in so many different languages. Originally, it was written in Bengali. So he recorded the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya. <clears throat> also, the today is the disappearance day of Raghunath Bhatta Goswami. Gunad Bhatta Goswami was the son of Tapan Mishra. And Lord Chaitanya, he had met Tapan Mishra uh, when he had, before taking sannyas. He was um, still Nimai Pandit. He was called Nimai Pandit. So when he had come to East Bengal, when, when Nimai Pandit was traveling, that time he had met Tapan Mishra. Tapan Mishra was a Brahman. But he was looking like, what's the goal of life? What's the goal of life, you know? He didn't know. So he was approaching a lot of saintly people. So one day in this dream, he got a dream uh, that a divine personality is telling him that Nimai Pandit will come soon here, you know? And you can ask him, what's the goal of life? And then the demigod disappeared. So Tapan Mishra was also very excited. He excited. He was excited. And then he saw... He went to meet Nimai Pandit after finishing his bath and puja. And he saw that Nimai Pandit, he is sitting on his bed and there's like an effulgence which is coming from him. And the whole room is, is, is lit with this effulgence which is coming from his body. His eyes are like full-blown petals of a lotus, full-blown lotus. Sorry, his curly hair on his head. He has a 
white color Brahman thread. He's wearing yellow clothes. And then he has some of his disciples sitting around him. And he looked like a full moon. So Tapan Mishra paid obeisances to him. And he says that, uh, you are full of compassion and I am lowly and fallen. Please bestow your mercy on him. So then, Tapan Mishra asked him, can you please tell me what's the goal of life and how I can attain it? So then Lord Chaitanya tells him that the Lord, he comes and every age he advances himself. Why? For the benefit of the living entities to give instructions of how to attain his association. So in Satyug, the process was meditation. In Treta Yug, the Yagyas, Dwapar Yug, Deity Worship, and Kalyug, the congregational chanting of the Holy Name, Harinam Sankirtan. So the Lord decides what's the process depending on the strength, the the how long the living entities are going to live, how much they can do. Based on that, the Lord decides this process. And if we follow any other process than what is authorized for that particular age, then there is no result. So in age of Kali, the essence is chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So the Lord told him that by this process, so you chant, and then you will understand by chanting that what is the goal of life and how to achieve it. And he said that there is no difference between God and the Holy Name. So one should always chant the Holy Name because there is no other way. And Sri Nam is himself what we want to realize. It says God himself. And repeating this name is the process for realizing what the name is. So there is no difference between God and the Holy Name. It's the same. So Tapan Mishra got this instructions, valuable instructions from Nimai Pandit. He offered his dandavats. And um, then he uh, said, when will I meet you? So the Lord told him that you go to Kashi and we'll meet over there. So then Tapan Mishra was in Kashi and then uh, over there he saw, Kashi was a place of mostly Mayavadi sannyasis. So Tapan Mishra saw a sannyasi, very, very, very brilliant faced sannyasi, very uh, attractive, uh, very beautiful looking sannyasi. And the sannyasi was saying, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Tapan Mishra was saying, How can I hear in this place of Mayavadis I'm hearing Hari Bol? So this sannyasi is not. Uh, ordinary. And there was also effulgence coming from him. And he thought, must be, maybe this is Nimai Pandit, because he had heard Nimai Pandit had taken sannyas. So he came, came offered obeisances to him. He was shedding tears. Mahaprabhu picked him up and embraced him. And Tapan Mishra took him to his home. Over there, Tapan Mishra with his family, they washed Mahabharabhu's feet and then they drank the water in great ecstasy. A lot of details are given in Chaitanya Charitamrita. And his son, Tapan Mishra's son, he is Raghunath. He became Raghunath Bhatta Goswami later on. So when, so the Lord had told him, okay, you take care of your parents and then later you come to Vrindavan. So later, when Raghunath Bhatt came, he was saying, I don't know if the Lord will remember me or no, I was a small boy at that time. Lord said, I can never forget you and your parents. You all love me so much, how can I ever forget you? Raghunath Bhatt Goswami, he used to um, speak Bhagavatam verses in so many melodious, melodious, very melodious uh, ways the meters, you know, not only one or two, couple of melodious ways he would sing the Bhagavatam verses. Everyone would come and hear Bhagavatam from him, from Raghunath Goswami. 
So today is also his appearance day, great personality. So we beg at the lotus feet to give us also devotion to Krishna. They are, they are ocean of mercy. They have ocean of devotion. All we can do is beg at the lotus feet to give us but a drop of love for Radha and Krishna. Raghunath Das Goswami ki jai. Raghunath Bhatta Goswami ki jai. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami ki jai. <coughs> Sorry. So, we'll begin with our Bhagavatam now, if that's okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Does anyone remember what did we speak about yesterday? In Bhagavatam. Hare Krishna. So yesterday we heard uh, Narada. Uh, Narad Haribo. Haribo. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, you want to say? It's okay, it's okay, you can continue. No, 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 please, 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 no, Hare Krishna. I only remember about the, like, caste system. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you can, you can start. It's okay, Hare Krishna. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, yesterday we read about the caste system, like, how divided into no, four... Not caste system, no. Not caste system, that yeah, not that's... Caste system. No, the... not caste system, Varna Sharma Dharma. Varnasharma Dharma. Yeah, I forgot yes. that term. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, the caste <laughs> system got it. Varnasharma Dharma got degraded into caste system. Yeah, yeah, caste yeah. system exactly. was something yeah. which became man made. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Actually, I forgot the term. Varnasharma Dharma. Varnasharma Dharma, right? Yeah. Varnasharma Dharma. Varnasharma. Yeah. Varna okay. and ashram. So we heard was Varnas and the ashrams. Well, not yes. really all of it. We just heard very little. Yeah, but uh, we read like uh, we have we have uh, like as per Varna Sharma Dharma, we have four categories: Brahmana, Chatriya, Vaishya, Vaishya, and Shudra. And we all have divided our work. Like Brahmana, they need to distribute knowledge and uh, like uh, do. Uh, auspicious things and uh, yeah like they have their duty they cannot the Brahmana they can have, six yeah, six have six duties they have six duties they teach scriptures uh, they, they study the scriptures they teach the scriptures worship mm. the deity teach to worship the deity mm. they give charity and accept charity yeah they These can beg the also right? yeah accept charity yeah and Chatriya have, uh, apart from six, they have only five, right? They cannot beg. That's right. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, Vaishwa, they can do business. Mm. And uh, the Shudra, they are the servant. Yeah. But now, yeah, but now, but in exception, exceptional case, uh, Chatriya can... Uh, uh, like earn uh, taxes, uh, but uh, they cannot take not taxes from Brahmana. Every, no, not exceptional. It is, they do. That's how they maintain themselves. They do take taxes. Okay. No, no, they, they cannot taxes. take from Brahmana, but in exceptional yes. case, there was something I forgot, like uh, uh, in, in some cases, even they cannot uh, take from Brahmana, but they can change that term I forgot. Like I, you they explain something. Take tax. Yes, they cannot take tax from Brahmana. Um, they maintain yeah. themselves by taking taxes, but they need to mm. provide protection in exchange for the tax. They cannot just tax the people. They need mm. to provide protection, and of course, they cannot tax the Brahmanas and the Vaishnavas. Mm. Yeah. Yes. And uh, yes. That's that's it. We read yesterday like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Krishna. Thank so you. is it Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna? So is it oh. that's the reason that why when they people donate right to temples or they give charity, it's tax free. 
it always says right tax exemption ah yeah maybe right yeah, yeah it could be that's a good point there yeah yeah, yeah. could be i'm not sure yeah yeah and that's why right like when your charity is given to temples hmm. so, yeah okay jaganyo no tamam ritam Jaganyo no tamam ritam anapadi bhaje naraha anapadi bhaje naraha rite rajanyam apatsu rite rajanyam apatsu sarvesham api sarvashaha sarvesham api sarvashaha Translation and output by the Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta, Swamishla Prabhupada. I'm sorry. Um, is somebody saying something? Okay. No. Except in a time of emergency, lower persons should not accept the occupational duties of those who are higher. When there is such an emergency, of course, everyone but the Kshatriya may accept the means of livelihood of others. The occupational duty of a Brahman should not be accepted by persons in lower social orders, especially Vaishyas and Shudras. For example, an occupational duty of the Brahman is to teach Vedic knowledge, but unless there is an emergency, this professional duty should not be accepted by Kshatriyas, Vaishyas or Shudras. Even a Kshatriya cannot accept the duties of a Brahman unless there is an emergency. And then, even if he does so, he should not accept charity from anyone else. So, it's only in case of emergency that somebody can take up the duty of a Brahman. That's what is being said. And even if they take it up, cannot take charity. Sometimes Brahmanas protest against our Krishna consciousness movement for creating Brahmanas from Europeans or in other words, from Malachas and Yamanas. This movement, however, is here supported in Srimad Bhagavatam. At the present moment, society is in a chaotic condition and everyone has given up the cultivation of spiritual life, which is especially meant for the Brahmanas, because spiritual culture has been stopped all over the world. There is now an emergency and therefore it is now time to train those who are considered lower and condemned so that they may become brahmanas and take up the work of spiritual progress. So Prabhupada is saying that here it's mentioned that if there is an emergency, then somebody who is lower can take up the work of brahman. Otherwise, no. So, but right now, the spiritual progress of human society has been stopped and this should be considered an emergency. So Prabhupada is saying that here there is support because he was receiving a lot of uh, criticism from the Brahmanas, from the caste Brahmanas, that, oh, you're making people who are not born in Brahman family, you're making them Brahmanas. So Prabhupada is saying it is an emergency. Look at the world situation. What's happening to the world? There's no God consciousness. You know, there's no Brahmanical culture. So it's an emergency. So here is solid support from Narad Muni of the movement known as Krishna Consciousness. Comments? So true. So, so true. much of distrust. Is, yes, so much of distrust is there, you know. So much. We don't know what's going on. The truth, we don't know the truth. So it's like, it's very necessary for all of us to um, be in Krishna Consciousness movement. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Ah, the seed, Ratna, I was immediately correcting that time because you know what happens? We are also recording and somebody who's hearing, who didn't hear yesterday, might get the wrong information. So if they heard only part of it, you know, if somebody's just hearing five minutes and then they might get the wrong one. So that's why I thought, okay, let me, because sometimes people call me to ask me, but it, there may be so many people who may not call, right? So that's why I thought, okay, let me just clarify it immediately. I hope it's okay with you. Yeah, it's all in 
good faith to help everyone, to serve everyone. Okay, going on. 18 to 20. Ritam Rita Bhyam Ji Veta. Ritam Rita Bhyam Ji Veta. Ritena Pram Ritena Va. Ritena Va. Satyan Rita Bhyam Api Va. Satyan Rita Bhyam Api Va. Na Shwa Vrittaya Kadachana. From Ritam Karshanam Smritam. From Ritam Karshanam Smritam. Satyan Ritam Cha Vani Chiam. Satyan Ritam Cha Vani Chiam. Shra Vriti Nicha Sevanam. Shra Vriti Nicha Sevanam. Varjayetam Sada Vipro. Vajayetam sada vipro. Rajan yas cha jugup sitam. Rajan yas cha jugup sitam. Sarva veda mayo vipra. Sarva veda mayo vipra. Sarva deva mayo nripaha. Sarva deva mayo nripaha. In time of emergency, one may accept any of the various types of professions known as Rita, Amrita, Mrita, Pramrita, and Satyanrita. But one should not at any time accept the profession of a dog. The profession of Unchalish, Unchashila, collecting grains from the field is called Rita. Collecting without begging is called Amrita. Begging grains is called Mrita. Tilling the ground is called Pramrita and trade is called Satyanrita. Engaging in the service of Lord Great Persons, however, is called Shravriti, the profession of the dogs. Especially, specifically, Brahmanas and Kshatriyas should not engage in the low and abominable service of Shudras. Brahmanas should be well acquainted with all the Vedic knowledge. And the Kshatriyas should be well acquainted with the worship of demigods. As stated in Bhagavad Gita 4.13, Chaturvarnya, Maya Shrishtam, Gunakarma, Vibhagasha, the four divisions of human society were created by the Supreme Lord according to the three modes of material nature and the work ascribed to them. So Varna Sharma, these divisions, Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya and Shudra, what is it based on? Religious principles. Uh, uh, social order. Modes of material nature. Uh, good modes good population. Of nature. Ah, modes yeah, of yeah. material nature. Yes. And yeah. modes of material nature and purity. The work ascribed to them. Okay. So, because the, depending on the work, Modes, one is naturally inclined to work in a certain way. And based on this, the four divisions are created, Brahman, Shatriya, Vaishya, and Shudra. But now, because of gradual neglect of Varna Sharma principles, Varna Sankara population developed, and the entire institution has now been lost. Right? Now we don't have this strict, uh, the Vedic system, the 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 Brahmana, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, we don't have. In this age of Kali, practically everyone is a Shudra, Kalau Shudra Sambhava. The find, and finding anyone who is a Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya is very difficult. Although the Krishna consciousness movement is a movement of Brahmanas and Vaishnavas, it is trying to reestablish the divine Varna Sharma institution. For without this division of society, there cannot be peace and prosperity anywhere. 
So Krishna divided the society and Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, so that everyone can peacefully work according to their own natural inclination. No need to get so stressed, no need to, you know, try to copy what others are doing. Just be peaceful and do what one is able to do. And at the same time, cultivate spiritual knowledge. Become God conscious. The society was based on God consciousness, based on Brahminical culture, cow protection. And that's why there was peace everywhere. There was prosperity everywhere. And at the end of life, then naturally people, you know, because they were uh, being educated in spiritual knowledge. So there was that general idea that, okay, after giving up this body, go back home, back to Godhead. But now we don't have that. So Prabhupada is saying that now through this Krishna consciousness movement, he's he was he's trying to reestablish this divine Varna Sharma institution, the Devi Varna Sharma. Okay. Read one more. Shamo Damastapa Shaucham. Satyam cha Brahma Lakshanam Satyam cha Brahma Lakshanam the symptoms of a Brahman are control of the mind, control of the senses, austerity and penance, cleanliness, satisfaction, forgiveness, simplicity, knowledge, mercy, truthfulness, and complete surrender to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In the institution of Varna Sharma Dharma, the symptoms of a Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, Brahmachari, Grahast, Vanaprast, and Sanyasi are all described. The ultimate aim is achyutat matvam, to think always of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna or Vishnu. To make advancement in Krishna consciousness, one has to become a Brahman with the above mentioned symptoms. So here, the symptoms of a Brahmana are mentioned. We'll read again, control of the mind. Control of the senses. So it's Brahmanical to control mind and senses. Perform austerity, penances. Mm -hmm. Then being clean, being satisfied to forgive. Forgiving others. Being simple. Having knowledge. Mercy. Merciful. Truthful. And surrender. Complete surrender to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So this is the Brahminical qualities, symptoms of a Brahman. If one has such qualities, then we can understand that they are a Brahmana. So we are, Krishna is urging us in Bhagavad Gita to develop these qualities. Yeah? He's urging each and every one of us to, to come to the Brahminical platform. Comments, questions? In olden times, like it is so properly, you know, segregated according to your karmas and your gunas, like whatever guna you have, then how properly it's segregated. And it was so peacefully also going. It is not like that. It wasn't working. It was working. Yeah, true. Right, and I think Prabhupada again and again mentions that he wants that this should come back. The caste system destroyed everything, yes, no doubt. But he wants that if we join Krishna conscious and if we follow Krishna conscious, then slowly and gradually, like also he mentioned there. Right? Yeah. Devi Varna Sharma. So, having Varna Sharma system, keeping Krishna in the center, pleasing Krishna. Devi Varna Sharma. Yeah. 
established the divine varna sharma institution i just have one more question shilpa ji in the 18th one uh, 17th 18th uh, 20 sorry uh, in the three that we are together in the translation there is written nimna purusho ki seva karna shruti ya kukar vritti kehlata hai and visheshta brahman and kshatriya ko shudro ki nimna tatha garhit seva mein nahi lagna chahiye so but we are always taught that like seva is good right but then this is what this is this is like taking um uh, this is not say uh doing devotional service this is like then, engaging in their service like taking money from them serving them oh, okay. to get something okay. in return okay okay to get okay, something that's kind return. of seva they are talking yeah. okay yeah yeah okay so like that just do their service in some way that they'll pay you yeah right yeah they could pay in money or they could pay in doing favors or you know anything mm-hmm. so that should not be taken up so, especially for okay. the brahman and kshatriya then one more question this this doesn't include that they should not go to their house and uh eat at their um uh, like you know if a shudra has a um uh, is doing the pitra shrad then the brahman can go there and eat right it doesn't stops him from doing that yeah i yeah i think so because that's what they do right they they yeah that's the what brahman. their job is so the, like no, it sure. doesn't mean see this technicalities I don't know, you know, this technical what you're saying. And nowadays, who is not a shudra? Everyone's a shudra now. We don't even have qualified Brahman and Chhatriya, mm-hmm. as we are just hearing, mm-hmm. right? Mm. So, so then we, we are <laughs> all engaged in who service actually? Huh? Uh, okay. Yeah. How many okay. real Brahmanas are actually there? Hardly. How many real chhatriyas are actually there? None. Hardly. No, no. There must hardly. be. I'm sure there must hardly. be. Hardly. That's what. Hardly. Yeah. Hardly. hardly. Yeah. Not none, but hardly. So we yeah. can't even sure say it as a general rule anymore, right? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Actually, uh, for me. Uh, now in this world, there is competition for. materialistic things like you need more money more lavish life everything more so the division of the caste system we can say now so here there is no like distribution like brahman kshatriya shudra or vaishna vaish vaishwa vaish yeah whatever so in earlier stage the kshatriya they are pure kshatriya they really protected all their like uh, uh, kingdoms uh, people whoever there they did not differentiate like he is vaishya he is shudra so we are not going to protect them but now like anyone is doing any work even kshatriya are also doing some business or uh, like uh, they have some shops or they are doing some uh, lower category work also so there is not distribution of any work anymore in in this yug kali yug so That's and knowledge right. about knowledge yeah about knowledge maybe kshatriya is more more knowledgeable maybe shudras are more knowledgeable than brahmana so they can be brahman now in this kali yug they can say brahmana if they are pure they have all qualities we just now we read like uh, merciful truthfulness knowledge and uh, Uh, so many things was there so if they have all that quality they can be a pure brahman yes. we can call them yes. pure brahman so now in this world there is no differentiation uh, but yes we have some uh, people still they are pure brahmana pure kshatriya pure vaishya and pure shudra still but very less very limited like it's hardly to get because when you will pure then you, when you have your pure soul then only you can get pure brahmana 
you can think about that perception of your mind, then it will drag you there. But if you are thinking, oh, no, I have to do something else. I have to earn money. I have to do this. I have to do that. Then how can you will be attached to pure person? It's impossible. Okay. Thank so you. We must yeah. have to. Like, yeah, uh, I have one example. Uh, actually, we have RO water uh, purifier in every house now. Oh, sorry. So there is some limitation. Like within six months, you need to clear it, clean it again. Every six months, there is some duration like this become, even th this is purifier, but we need to purify it again in a fixed slot, like within six months or three months, we need to clear it again. We call some mechanic or they clean it and again, it give pure water. So just like that in this Kali Yuga, even we are reading very uh, many things, even the Brahmana, the pure Brahmana also, but they must have to realize like where is the lack of knowledge. And we must have to up to date ourselves. So that purification is required in every three months or six months or every day we can say. Yeah, that's why we beings. have to chant. That's why yeah. we are require, required to chant so we can purify ourselves. But our actually, for us, like because we don't have much knowledge of Veda, Sastra and other ritual is, uh, spiritual books and we don't we think like we don't have that much time but the brahmana real brahmana, brahmana they are real brahmana also have to yeah. chant everyone has to chant in this age of kali because that's the only way no other way whether one is brahman kshatriya shudra vaishya anything have to chant to purify ourselves in this age of kali that is the process given for this age. But how for about our sastras? Huh? What about our sastras and our, like we are reading Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, Chaitanya, Charitamitam. We have to read. Of course we have to read. That's why I'm saying like if really the pure Brahmana, uh, whoever, like Chatriya, Shudra, Vaishya or Brahmana, they must have knowledge so that it can be continually continuously forwarded to the next generation there should be some people some people who keep these all things preserved uh, more than the precious gold so chanting and hearing is is i know like in kali yuga harinam sankirtan is the most powerful source of uh, your uh, like devotional uh, activity but still that apart from that if you really want to be a pure brahmana transfer the knowledge you must have to keep these all things right yeah yeah it's true what you're saying it's true that's why Prabhupada is saying that the Krishna consciousness movement is mm. creating so many brahmanas training mm. so many brahmanas mm. come to the brahmanical platform learn the knowledge and teach the knowledge yeah it's true yeah yeah and there is no differentiation who, are, who they are are they yes. brahmana yes. are they chatriya are they sudra or are they vesh so that's why I'm saying like is is still there some pure person in this world who are really taking care of all these duties which were divided earlier in Vana Sharma Dharma time. Okay. But very limited. Thank you. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Okay. Stop here for today. Yes. Shri Bhagavatam Kiche, Shla Prabhupada Kiche, Gaur Bhagavatam Kiche, Hare